So I was in my shop the other day, and I was looking at these antennas, these four antennas. I have two matched pairs. Uh, these two, they have the, the coily, and I also have two four-foot fire stick antennas. And I was thinking, wouldn't that make <laughs> an interesting base station antenna? So, I am going to take these four antennas and turn them into a semi-directional uh, vertical beam. All right, let's go see what I can come up with and what we end up using to, to make up this antenna. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so I built the top boom out of wood. And it's kind of scaffolding the setup. Uh, these are all sandwiched together and screwed through. And in the center, it will slip over the pole and I'll drill a hole through that and probably through bolt it. Uh, I still have to figure out some kind of diagonal bracing for it. Uh, but I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Right now I just cut out a couple pieces of sheet metal. And what I'm going to do with those is wrap it around the end. So that I have a place to attach the antennas to. The ground plane radials will be attached directly to the sheet metal. And the elements will be... Uh, shielded from the sheet metal so be isolated all right I'm gonna get to shaping that sheet metal and getting it installed on the boom pole for a test fit well look at this crazy contraption have it all <laughs> connected up and connected to a radio, a power supply. The power supply is going to give us trouble. That always ends up making noise on the radio. That's the only one I had available at the moment, though. All the others are set up on stations. I have a SWR and power meter hooked up to it, so I can show you uh, what the SWR is and uh, how much power that radio is putting out. Let's go over to the antenna. What I did was I took two pieces of 75 ohm coax, cut them down to 71.6 inches long, and soldered them to some 50 ohm coax, and then taped it up and taped it to the pole to keep it secure. Uh, on the ends there, the nuts that hold the, the whips to that piece of sheet metal, which as you can see, the sheet metal came out really good too. Can you see that? It's kind of hard with the way the sun and clouds are today uh, but it, it's bolted right to the sheet metal and the coax is pinched in with the nut uh, behind a washer and then tighten up the nut for the whip so that it attaches the coax to the different elements the center connector is connected to the top element and that is isolated from the sheet metal um, I use some <laughs> rubber oh, grommets uh, to isolate that, I didn't have any nylon ones, but I used some really thick rubber ones, and it worked out very well. Uh, they scented it perfect in it. They had a nice thick wall, so I don't have to worry about it cutting in. Again, this is just a temporary setup anyway. I just wanted to see if this would work. So the wires are just bolted to the elements. Uh, the shield goes to the lower one, and the center conductor goes up to the upper antenna. Like I said, then the coax comes over here, meets up with the 50 ohm coax, and this side's the same thing. Sheet metal wrapped around. That one came out really good, too. And the whip's going up. Now, keep in mind, this is just temporary. I just wanted to see if this setup would work. So I just used 1x2s. I made a beam for the top for the boom pole, and then it's just on a 1x2 upright with a couple of screws into a one by two that's pounded into the ground and I just put a couple of diagonal braces on there just so that it doesn't end up bending over and it'll stay kind of straight so I have that all connected to a radio over here and let me show you let's turn this power supply on I'm tripping over cords at my feet 
We'll give that a second to power up. It's picking up somebody in the background. That noise is from the power supply. Uh, I've already done the testing. I'm going to show the testing next of talking with my buddy 6 and 7 eighths, Andre. Uh, you'll hear that noise in there. I apologize for that. It's that power supply. It's the only one I had around, though, so that's what I had to use. All right, let's put this on SWR. We're on channel 40. Wow, it's already set perfect. Now we'll switch that. Oh, I know that's higher than that. 1.5. I didn't even do any adjusting to this. I put it together. Put it up in the air. And on channel 40, I have a 1.5. I think channel 1 was like 1.7, 1 1.8. 1 uh, let's put that back to calibrate. It's hard to hold the camera and <laughs> operate the mic and adjust the meter. See what I mean? I accidentally unkeyed. All right, now let's see what the SWR is on 1. Yeah, it's a smidge it under 1.9 I could adjust that though I could bring the elements out a little it would probably bring it to about 1.6 across the band which for a stock radio that's just fine it's just a, a 4 watt AM radio actually I'll show you that we'll put that on power put it on the 10 watt scale and I'll key up the mic just just under four watts on dead key. We're gonna talk to six and seven eighths. He is five and a half to six miles away in a straight line. And we'll see what this does. As soon as he gets home, he's gonna get on his radio and he's gonna go on channel 37 AM. And we're gonna test it out, see how it does. Well, how about that? It's working. I can hear you from six miles away. I can hear you on this uh, little homemade setup. Yeah, it was pretty good, actually. What kind of signals are giving you away over there? You getting uh, at least three or four? Five. Nice, on a four watt radio. Actually, this radio only does, I think, three and a half watts. Three and a half watts, six miles away, and I'm giving you a 5 dB signal. That's fantastic. Yeah, exactly five. My RF where it should be and everything. Sounds good, though. 678, down around the Badlands, South Carolina, up on the 151. You got station 151, also known as Moa Junkie, and I'm transmitting to you from... Hey, <laughs> a field goal antenna. <laughs> it's got a co-phased, four whips, two coilies, and two fire sticks. We got an SWR of 1.5 on this thing, and it seems to be working pretty well. You got station 151, also known as Moa Junkie, and I'm transmitting to you from a, <laughs> a field goal antenna. <laughs> it's got a co-phased four widths, two coilies, and two fire sticks. We got an SWR of 1.5 on this thing, and it seems to be working pretty well. Hi, uh, Roger Dodger. Yeah, I'm on the striker right now, and we're about five and a half miles away, and uh, for the setup you got there, I did see it earlier. It sounds pretty good in my book for the low wattage, and the, it's crystal clear and everything. Um... Awesome. Thank you so much for recording that for me. And I'm just giving this while I'm talking for the last time, showing what the power is on it again. All right, Andre, thank you very much. Roger, Dodger. Yep, I got the camera right in front. Hold the steady. Awesome. Thank you.
you so much for recording that for me. And I've just given this while I'm talking for the last time, showing what the power is on it again. All right, Andre, thank you very much. Roger, Dodger, yep, I got the camera right in front, holding as steady as I can. And, <laughs> and so it was a fun experiment, and it worked well, but I've already taken it apart. I already have it all back apart, and the antenna's back in the house. I just wanted to see if this would work, and it seemed to work pretty well. A 4-watt radio, or just under 4 watts, uh, was making it to my buddy Andre, who's 5.5 to 6 miles away. And as you heard, it sounded pretty good on his striker, uh, doing a five to six signal on it. The receive was noisy. We could hear him well, but it was noisy because of that power supply. Uh, I forgot all about this one. I have another one here. They're just computer power supplies, but they're 12 volt power supplies. That one is quiet. That one doesn't create any noise. I should have used it, but... You know, hindsight, you can't go back, especially now that I've already taken the antenna apart. We're done with it for now. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be doing more things with these antennas in the future. I just don't know what yet. One of them could be a, a nice dipole. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.